sewer clean check valve versus sewer flood control system. Hi, this is Ben from Rescue Plumbing and we're here to rescue your sewer from backing up into your property before it happens. The reason for this video is to inform the public that the municipal sewer systems are being overwhelmed by these new crazy extreme weather events. You must protect yourselves from sewage backups into your property by installing sewer flood control prevention devices directly on your sewer line. Rescue Plumbing offers two levels of backflow prevention. The first entry level backflow preventer is a sewer clean check extendable backwater valve that can be installed directly onto your sewer line. The second level of sewer backflow prevention we offer is a full sewer flood control system. Let's break down and analyze the differences between these two sewer backflow prevention devices. Sewer clean check backwater valve versus sewer flood control system. The type of sewer backflow prevention you choose to install on your property will determine what you have to do when the city sewer system begins to back up. Let's begin with the first entry level sewer backflow prevention device we install. This is a Rector Seal Clean Check Extendable Backwater Valve. This valve is made by Rector Seal. There are several other manufacturers that produce clean check back water valves that are probably cheaper, but they're hard to get right now. Uh, we had some bad flooding in the Chicagoland area recently and Rector Seal was the only company that I could find that had any in stock, probably because they're the most expensive. <laughs> The valves we installed though, even though they're expensive, have already prevented flooding, sewer flooding for our customers. So let's take a look at the clean check back water valve, our entry level flood prevention device. Okay, when installing a clean check, a clean check back water valve, basically what we do is we dig directly down into your sewer, outside of your property, you know, on outside of the structure. We, we, we cut out a section of sewer, and then we remove it and we install this. This valve sits right where we cut out the piece. What this backwater valve does is it houses a heavy duty flapper right in here, you see? This flapper is what constantly moves in and out, in and out, in and out. It's moving every time that you use any plumbing in your house, any water, any sewer, any shower, any poop, this is constantly moving. This is what protects your property when you have a clean check valve, the flapper. This flapper will engage in the lock position. You see, it ain't going anywhere. Usually the sewage will flow away from your property like this. You see, when the sewer's flowing, it's open and then it closes. The great thing about these clean check back water valves, it's a lot cleaner servicing these as opposed to a flood control system where you have to climb through a manhole. The reason this clean check valve is so clean is because of this piece and this piece, okay? This piece and this piece are custom pieces from the manufacturer and literally we grew this piece of pipe onto it, like this. <laughs> and then this goes, this goes over this and you can literally just slide it out. That's why it's so clean and so cool. Back water valves are cool. Let me put this on the ground and just show you how we pull it out, okay? So we have been installing these PVC clean check back water valves for about 15 years in the Chicagoland area. The city of Chicago only just recently 
They only just recently starting allowing us to install these PVC type piping underground. In the past, we were only allowed to install metal type drainage piping, uh, like cast iron type piping or copper type piping underground. That meant if you were looking to install a clean check back water valve in the city of Chicago, it was against plumbing code because they weren't made of metal. They were only made of plastic. Uh, they would not pass inspection. Thank God they allow PVC now underground in the city of Chicago so we can install these clean check back water valves. We need them. Back then we could only install fixed check valves. Like the one, oh, this sucker's heavy, we have here. They typically would have to have like a special access door or they would have to be exposed, which is never the case. Let's take a look at this, at this cast iron check valve. It's fully sealed, comes with these four bolts. Let's take them off. Let's take a look at this valve. I told the guys to get me a valve. I didn't know they, they left a little bit of dirt in there. They, this is a valve, I guess, that was installed. So this check valve works similar to the clean check, but you cannot remove the flapper as easily. Take a look, it's got a hinge, bolts. Okay, they should call this a dirty check valve because you have to get really dirty when servicing it. Now that they allow clean checks in the city of Chicago, I always prefer the clean checks to sealed cast iron check valves whenever applicable because it's cleaner <laughs> and it saves time when performing the yearly servicing. In the city of Chicago, they require a clean out be installed downstream of a backwater clean check valve. This cast iron check valve is what we typically use in our flood control systems, but we use two of them. Let's pop up a diagram of our full flood control system. Rescue Plumbing Plumbers drew up this diagram for you so you can better understand how intricate a flood control system is. This black pipe is a six inch sewer pipe. Follow me along the black pipe as it converts to an overflow fitting that can empty into a pump system. Then keep following me, we come to the backflow prevention check valves. One and two. Then we exit the structure to an exterior clean out access and we're out of to the city sewer. Ah. Let's dive inside a real flood control as it's getting built to give you an inside view on how it is. Right there is the transition coupling in the cast iron T. If it does back up, it's gonna back up into this pit. And then it's, you see this is check valve number two, check valve number one, clean out, transition coupling. A full sewer flood control system installation is a much larger project than just a clean check back water valve installation. A full sewer flood control system requires much more intricate sewer piping than a clean check back water valve does. Look at this finished product. Look at a very quick rundown of what it took to get to that point. Let's dive back into the flood control. This clean check, the reason they call it clean check is because you can cleanly lift it out and check it. So here we got the full flood control system. A full flood control system will come with a clean out T. Here's the first valve. There's another one behind there. You see there's the top to that one. Full flood control system versus one valve. There is clearly a big difference 
from a clean check backwater valve installation to a flood control installation. Let's move into our hard comparison. Sewer clean check valve versus sewer flood control system. The excavation size. A clean check backwater valve has a much smaller excavation size versus a sewer flood control. Take a look at these two open excavations. The first pick is a clean check waiting to get inspected, and the second is a flood control waiting to get inspected. Big difference, huh? Let's move on to backflow prevention. Backflow prevention for a clean check back water valve is just one back water valve versus a sewer flood control system that has two of these cast iron check valves, two of them. Let's move on to the back water valve's most important part, the flapper. Flapper valve material. Flapper valve material. The flapper is the main device that will stop sewage backup from flowing into your property through the sewer system. Okay, when they're getting overwhelmed. This clean check flapper, it's made out of super hard rubber. That's what it's made out of. Our flood control systems flappers, they're made out of brass. You see? I have personally spoken to Jumbo Manufacturing that makes this six inch cast iron check valve and that we install in our flood control systems. And they told me that the flapper in this valve is a mixture of nickel and brass. The reason they add nickel to the brass flapper is to strengthen the flapper because brass tends to be soft and bend, corrupting the seal when it's backing up. Adding nickel to that brass gives it extra durability and longevity as it's constantly moving back and forth, back and forth when you're using your plumbing system. Constantly moving parts require maintenance. And that brings us to the required yearly maintenance. Both clean check back water valves and flood control systems need yearly maintenance. Once a year, you must remove the flapper attachment from the clean chunk. You gotta remove it and make sure that it's intact and working or else you gotta replace this piece, the flapper piece. The yearly maintenance for a clean check back water valve can be done from grade level. What that means is it's, I'm standing up and I just go right there and pull it out from standing up. On a full flood control systems, yearly maintenance takes much longer than a clean checks yearly maintenance. On a full flood control system, a plumber must climb through a small opening manhole, circular opening, and then he goes into a basin where he's gotta take two of these apart and then use industrial grease to grease it all up and service it and make sure everything's working the proper way. So what happens what happens when the city begins to back up? That brings us to water usage. So let's pretend we're having one of these new extreme rainfall events. The city sewers are overwhelmed and you had rescue plumbing install a clean check back water valve. Months ago, what do you do? What do you do? It's backing up right now. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Don't worry, you're safe from the sewer flooding your property, as long as you do not pour anything down into your drains. That means you can't flush a toilet, you can't use any plumbing, you can't use a sink, or you will flood yourself. So you cannot use any water when you have a clean check back water valve installed on your sewer line. Now, a full flood control system is a different story. When it comes to water usage, we offer installation of these full flow control systems. If you install one of them, you can use your water when the city sewer systems are overwhelmed. Yes, you heard me right. Our sewer flood control systems allow you to use your sewer even when the city backs up. 
Rescue Plumbing custom designs every sewer flood control system to make sure you can use your plumbing systems whenever you want, because you're the owner. Even if the city backs up, you can use your sewer because you have a Rescue Plumbing flood control system. The way someone can use the sewer when the city sewer backs up is because our flood controls are equipped with a pump system. And that pump system forces the sewage past the valves. This brings us to pump systems. Pump systems. Rescue Plumbing installs sewer flood control systems with special pump systems to let you use your sewer even when the cities are not supposed to let you use your sewer. So when the people are using the sewer, it's gonna spill out of this overflow tube into this pit, and there's gonna be a pump pumping out. It's gonna go over here directly into this check valve, past the check valve. It's literally gonna feed into this thing that we're gonna pop out. So boom, from here, it's gonna shoot right into here. So the people are gonna be able to use their sewer, even if the city sewer is trying to back them up. They got double protection, double valve, and then they're gonna have a pump forcing it into the sewer. The pump system in our flood control passes two of these check valves. So a pump grabs the stuff, shoots it past two of these check valves, forcing itself into the sewer. And you can use your sewer. Look, the worst case scenario, if the back pressure created from the sewer is that great and trying to back up, what happens is the basin of the flood control will fill up and it'll act like a sewage storage basin until the city's sewer recedes and gets back to normal. Now, if the basin overfills, then it's Noah's biblical flood, and we have a lot more things to worry about than the sewer. <laughs> a clean check does not have a pump system, so that's why you can't use the water when you have a clean check. The biggest advantage to having a flood control system is the pump system because it allows you to use your plumbing even when the city is backed up. Pump systems do not work without electricity. And that brings us to electricity. Sewer flood control systems have pump systems that require electricity. For rescue plumbing to install a flood control system, we will have to run an independent electrical line directly from the main electrical box in your property. And we run an electrical line and that box has to have its own independent 20 amp circuit breaker. A clean check doesn't require electricity. This cuts down immensely on installation time for a clean check. Let's move on to Installation time. A clean check has a much lower installation time than a flood control system. It really only takes about a day to install a clean check, but accounting for inspection and scheduling the inspection and having the inspector come, the installation time is looking more realistically like three days to two weeks, only because of the inspector showing up. A sewer flood control takes about one to four weeks to complete because of the amount of inspections required. Most municipalities are backed up right now with more inspections than they can handle. It's like after COVID, all the inspectors said F you and they all quit and, or went to retirement because of the COVID stuff. Inspections are really backed up in the city of Chicago right now, but in the suburbs, they're not backed up as bad. That brings us to inspections, quantity of inspections. Inspections for a clean check back water valve are normally just one. For a sewer flood control system, normally you have a minimum of three to five inspections. Every city is different. They all have their own rules, but typically from my experience, how the inspections go is it's at least three one underground inspection that where they inspect the pipe itself, and then one inspection where they inspect the basin structure and electricity. 
and then the final inspection one. Everything is complete, and the inspector comes and he pours water into the pump system to make sure the pump system works. Let's move on to electrical inspection. Clean check back water valves has no electrical inspection, no pump system. A flood control system, depending on the municipality, will sometimes require an electrical inspection. They sometimes even require a separate electrical permit in addition to the plumbing permit to install a sewer flood control system. There we have it. Sewer clean check valve versus sewer flood control system. Which do you prefer? A clean check valve is easier to maintain. Uh, you, once a year you go in there, you just pull it out. A flood control system, a full, a full flood control system, allows you to use the sewer even when the city backs up. We can help you make the decision on which you should choose. Every flood prevention device we install is a custom creation. Give us a call or give us a text and we'll send you out a licensed plumber to give you an on-site free verbal estimate to help you prevent your property from a future sewer flood.